We have seen a number of government programs, Mr. Speaker, say, being named after the president, like presidential inputs, presidential goods scheme, presidential borrowers. In light of that trend, what is the government doing to stop the abuse of such programs by ruling party activists who misinterpret such programs to mean that the funding is from the first secretary of ZANU-PF's pocket. Yet these funds are from the Treasury. What is government doing to make sure that such programs are not abused by party activists? Honorable Ziambi. Honorable Ziambi. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Honorable Member for the question. And secondly, I want to thank him uh, that is very much aware of the efforts that the head of state is doing in ensuring that the mandate that he was given by the generality of the people of Zimbabwe is realized in terms of service provision. And the president is elected by the whole of Zimbabwe. And as such, I am very happy when I hear the honorable member indicating the various programs that His Excellency is doing in terms of service delivery. S secondly, Mr. Speaker, say, secondly, Mr. Speaker, say, what I am aware of. So, in my opinion, Honorable uh, Ziambi Ziambi was supposed to directly answer the question which was being asked. What is the government doing to ensure that uh, uh, ZANU PF activists don't hijack these programs? That was the issue. There was no need for clarification. There was no need for, for him to thank the Honorable Member for acknowledging what, what, blah, blah. The question is, what is the government doing to make sure that ZANU-PF activists do not use or abuse these systems as their own? That is what is very important because these projects are being funded by the government. They are being funded from the taxpayers' money. They are being funded from our money. This, therefore, is a clear indication that um, uh, these people are not fit to hold these offices and we must register to vote and vote them out. This is